Hello and welcome everyone to this auction video for this lovely Vauxhall Vivaro on a 17 plate. This is your much sought after sportive edition and uh, a very nice one it is too. I've just taken it up and down our dual carriageway and uh, it drove absolutely, you know, lovely. I've driven a lot of these vans for a lot of years, but I used to be a, a van man before this job for about 10 years and drove a lot of Avaros. And um, yeah, this one is actually drives very well, just as you would expect. And icing on the cake for this one, guys, it's full service history, all the stamps and uh, yeah, quite low mileage, really. It's, what is it on, 80, we can't see, 88,000 miles. I'll give you a better view in a minute. And this one's fully loaded with the uh, hill start, stop start, cruise control, air conditioning. Lovely car, uh, van, should I say. So let me take you for a walk around it. I'm hoping that this weather is gonna comply for us. It looks like it's about to rain, but hopefully it'll hold out for the duration of this video. And while I'm taking photos, etc., I've just walked around and taken a bunch of photos inside and out, T tire tread depths, all the tires on this uh, vehicle as well are near new, near new, should I say. And uh, yeah, it's had a massive history um, all, all stamped up and all printed off, uh, new brakes, EGR valve, oh I can't remember, lots of things. So it's had a lot of work done guys and this uh, really does feel like a sorted van and I couldn't fault it. So uh, I'm not just saying it, this one is a lovely van. It does have a few marks here and there, obviously it's been a works vehicle. It's on a 17 point so it's seen six years of service but still got many many miles of uh of use in it so anyway that's enough of that let's have a look around and see what we can find there's a few light scratches just on this panel here the front end's not looking too bad a few dead bugs and some stone chips a tiny little crack down here on the lower balance as i say the stone tips otherwise the bonnet's looking quite good as well headlights are looking nice and uh yeah for its for its age looking good and uh, yeah, let's see, there's a few little, or a light dent there on the bonnet. And some stone chips, as I say. Let's come around to this side, have a look. Wheels and tires looking really nice. There's a few light scratches for some reason on the bottom, bottom of the uh, lower valance there. And a few more again here, some more scratches. The mirror is a little bit marked up, scratches and dead bugs. Um, the passenger door, although nice and straight, it's got a few little scratches as you would expect around the uh, door handle area. And a few more light scratches again. Coming down this pillar here, all looking good. A few light scratches again. And light scratches again around the fuel cap area, as you would expect. The side loading door there is looking nice and straight, no dents. And there are a few marks again, as you tend to expect with this type of vehicle, because obviously, these guys are using them as ve uh, working vehicles, so they can be quite marked up. So there's the door is covered in scratches. Rear quarter panel and the roof, we got roof bars, which is a real bonus. And uh, the rear top half of the quarter panel there, looking nice and straight, no dents that jump out at me. And the bottom half of that rear quarter panel looking good again. There was a slight dent just in here. Um, nothing much going on. And some light scratches down here for some reason. That might even polish out, not really sure to be honest. Um, let's have a look around the side here on the side pillar. Looking good. A few light scratches. Obviously things have been taken on and off the top of this vehicle, leaving a few marks here and there. The tail light is looking good. Bottom tail light again looking good and reflector looking good. There is a little bit of damage on the bumper. So there's a crack in the back of this bumper here on the side and the bottom of this bumper is marked up as you tend to get them on these uh, vans they see a lot of use but we do have a crack again on this uh, corner here on the right corner let's go down through this pillar again you as you usually get a few marks and scuffs here and there this uh, tail light's looking good and this bottom tail light is uh, damaged here on the uh, so we've got a cracked lens on that little one there the reflector is looking good the actual doors looking in uh, nice tidy condition there is a dent which stands out just here remarkably maybe a few light dents on the opening of the door 
um, and a few light scratches on the back doors in general, I would say. Let's keep walking around, see what we can see. Again, a few light marks, scratches at the top here. Maybe a polish might sort it out, I'm not really sure. Uh, rear quarter panel here is looking good. No jump up dents that are jumping out at me. A little bit of a, a scratch here and a few light scratches in general just around that archway at the mid part of the uh, side of the van here. Again, just some light scratches on the top of that sill there and some just some light scratches in general just on this side panel. But the uh, sill looks nice and straight. Can't see any damage on the sills. Coming around now to the uh, driver's door. All looking good, no dents that are jumping out. A few little marks uh, against the dirt. But there's a more of a scratch here by the door handle. Another one here. And your general scratches around the door handle, handle as you would tend to expect. And a few light scratches on the door. And again, just right by that sportive sign. And uh, as I pointed out earlier, those there. And the mirror again. Lots of dead bugs, a bit of touch up. Here comes the rain, so I'll try and get through this as quick as I can, guys. So let's get back here. And doors open, no problem. And uh, yeah, your usual kind of marks as you would tend to expect on these doors as a working van. And uh, yeah, no problem with the operations of the door there. We've got carpet in the back and everything's looking tidy and presentable. So let's have a look around the passenger side before this, these heavens open on us. Um, so let's have a look. And uh, yeah, all looking good here, nice and clean and tidy. Electric windows, they've all been tested, everything works fine. The interior looking good. It's a little bit dusty here and there, a little bit muddy. Could benefit from more cleaning. I personally just cleaned this one up myself and tried to get it looking a bit better, but because I can see it's uh, a lovely van, I want to show it its best, but I'm sure you guys could uh, put some more time into it and make it look in A1. So let's have a look on the uh, driver's door. Door card again, looking all good. Electric mirrors and windows work fine. We've got hill start uh, parking sensors, which work. And we managed to get in before the heavens opened. We just got to check under that bonnet. So let's get all these lights off, turn the eco off as well. Um, we've got no warning lights and a mileage of 88,140 miles. Um, let's put that back on. As I say, we've got eco setting as well, which works fine. Um, what else have we got? Cruise control, which is here and stop start. Um, we've got aircon that does pipe out nice cool cold air so uh, air, yeah the aircon is uh, working fine you've got your radio here and yeah all well, the rest of the interior and more importantly we've got uh, full service history let me take you through that and uh, two keys um, I don't know if anyone knows the history of Avaro's, but they're only actually were ever serviced every two years. But this one's actually been serviced more than two years. A good condition, locking wheel nut there. And uh, a Vauxhall wallet. And we have the booklets, the manuals there. And the service book with lots of stamps in it. So it's a 2017, so the first service after two years in 2019. And then 2021, it's then been serviced again in 22 and 23, and it's not due a service until next year. And I'm pretty sure the MOT runs out next year as well. So we've got a nice long MOT and service, not due a service and MOT again. And I've just gone through our database and printed off all the service history here. And uh, yeah, it's nice and conclusive. Let's get this uh, door open is a little bit muggy in here okay so let's have a look at the service history um going from 2023 backwards so we've got a uh, service there 2023 and this is just your standard uh service and then in 2000 on the seventh month 2022 we've got replace egr valve and gasket tested all okay and that was to a sum of 890 pounds um, then there's another service there in 2022 which coordinates with the book there again 200 odd pounds and it also had mm, brake fluid 
change engine flush, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that's all that. Um, and then we go on to the EGR valve um, being replaced again. So what one was that one? EGR valve. I'm not sure why that's got two. It must be different work there. I think this might be turbo gaskets, etc. Um, so I think there was some kind of fault possibly. Oh, here we go. So there was a fault there, whistling on acceleration. So select boost, investigate, carried out. EGR cooler requires replacement. So first of all, the cooler was replaced at the cost of uh, 1,129. And then also the EGR valve was replaced as well. Uh, where is that one? That's that one. EGR valve replaced as well at a bill of £890. So that is some really key important jobs done there guys. So uh, yeah, real nice um, uh, one to have under the belt because I know that EGR valves are a little bit sensitive on these Vivaros. So uh, yeah, you can rest assured you've uh, had some major work done quite recently. So you can uh, bid with confidence on this one. Uh, it's February 2022, both front pads and discs replaced with uh, original equipment at a bill of £518. Uh, rear brake discs and pads again replaced uh, 21 on the seventh month. Um, let's see what else we got here. Another service again in 21. That's your basic service there. Uh, let's see what else we've got. And then 2019 clutch master cylinder replaced. That is another thing that goes wrong on these Avaros. That has been done in 2019. I had no problem at all with the operation of the clutch here. It's nice and smooth, and as you would expect it. And then a network queue done in 2019. Uh, so yeah, it's had a massive service there, all the other bits and pieces done there. So a real nice bit of service history there. I'll just start this one up for you. It seems to stop raining. We can uh, just check for any warning lights coming up again. Get this handbrake off, get the lights off, turn the eco off and uh, yeah, no warning lights there. So that's all good to see. So I'll just take you for a little look under the bonnet and we're done. See, it's all very nice and clean and presentable. It's uh, cool on there, correct level, and uh, a little bit dirty and dusty in here, but um, all looking good. Brake fluids, nice and clean. I'm sure the uh, oil level's correct. It's not long been serviced, so uh, no nasty knocks or rattles. I'll be quiet and let you have a little look around and a listen. we go guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh, happy bidding.